Amber LaFave remains off probation. LaFave pleaded guilty to having sex with a 14-year-old student and had agreed to a plea bargain which included not seeking an early end to her probation. Today, prosecutors asked the judge to withdraw his order which terminated the probation of the former Greco middle school teacher while they appeal that ruling. But the judge said no, and that led to some heated moments in court. Our Serena Fazan is live in the newsroom to explain. Serena. Good evening, Wendy. It was another blow to prosecutors. The judge basically said even though he signed off on the original deal, he had the authority to do this, and he stood by his decision. Deborah Lefebvre did not utter a word as she walked into the courthouse with her attorney, John Fitzgibbons, by her side. But inside, there were plenty of fireworks as a debate played out between prosecutors and the judge. Prosecutor Mike Sinecor said the judge had no authority to grant early probation and pointed out he was the judge who agreed to the terms in the first place back in 2005. We have a written plea agreement that has a very specific sentence in it. It was 10 years of supervision. The whole, everybody came to court believing that Deborah LaFave was going to serve every single day of 10 years of supervision, and that's what the parties bargained for. And why that can't be upheld uh, is, is beyond me. That's what uh, the, the appellate court's going to have to rule on, Judge. And during that appeal to a higher court, prosecutors wanted LaFave back on probation. The judge simply said no. But if you want to stay involving continuing Ms. LaFave on probation, I'm not going to do it. I've made my ruling. She's off probation. If you want additional time, and I have the authority under the statute that you cited to give it to you, to get your, your brief, your transcript, all that sort of stuff together, make a good argument to the second district, work with the attorney general, whatever you're going to do, I'll give it to you. But I'm not going to require her to continue to uh, abide about a, a, a report to probation and do all the things that probationers do. I've ruled on that, and I'm standing by my ruling. This is a huge victory for Lefebvre and her attorney, but the battle is far from over. Well, I thought the law, judge applied the law correctly and made the right decision, and now I guess we're on our way to the appellate court, uh, as the state wishes. Uh, we just kind of wish this would eventually get done. Now, the family tells me they are fuming over this decision, and they hope, quote, the Court of Appeals does the right thing. The prosecution will file that appeal within days. In the meantime, Lefebvre is enjoying her freedom, but she will remain a registered sex offender and will never be able to teach in Florida again. Back to you, Wendy. Thank you.